Hi, it's Brandon from Audio Video Unlimited, and I'm back with another ABU Tectorial where I'm hoping to be able to explain to you the difference between an LED screen and an OLED screen. And the reason why it's important to understand the difference between these two screen styles is that despite the names being very similar, the technology is completely different. This is your basic OLED screen, and it only has two layers. There is the actual screen technology um, in a layer, and then there is a backing technology, which is usually a piece of aluminum. In this case, it looks like it's a wafer between uh, aluminum and some composite material to give it an incredible rigidity. Um, but the, the fancy part about this tech is that OLED, um, LED meaning light emitting diode, OLED actually emits its own light and creates its own color. Um, this is the first time basically since the CRT television, or maybe you're familiar with plasma, that the, the television itself, the screen itself, has emitted its own color. So with plasma, it used electricity and um, a specially charged gas. In this case, it's using uh, different voltages to different um, electric pigments to basically light them up in different colors. And it, it means that your screen can go all the way from all the way black to a fully bright white picture and when it has that capability for that amount of dynamic range what you get is a huge color gamut um, really high fidelity images beautiful crisp black levels um, and, and a nicely photo balanced image which is something that we really haven't been able to have with just the LED and LCD technologies now on this side of the model here we have the LCD technology and you can see that it is many, 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 many layers. And when I say LCD technology, um, LCD and LED are actually basically the same thing. And the only thing that changes is, is this layer right here. So this is your, your LED layer. It's basically a bunch of light emitting diodes uh, and they're placed in an array and they're the backlights to your screen. So basically they're not giving you the color, they're only giving you the brightness and then they use a series of shutters, basically that's what the rest of these layers are. There's a series of shutters to open and close little doors over, co over color filters that will actually give you the picture that you're looking at. So just the light, not the actual color, as opposed to OLED which is actually producing the color as well. And what that means is um, when, you're, when you're watching your screen just like pulling the blinds on your window in the middle of a sunny day, there's going to be some light bleeding through. And LED LCD technology has always had a problem with not being able to go to a true black because there's a little bit of light bleeding around the edges of these shutters. Um, it also has a problem with off-axis viewing, and that's purely because, I mean, looking straight into it, not a problem, but as you start to look on an angle, you have to look through all these different layers, and as you look through layers at the wrong angles. Just imagine a wall of cardboard boxes with the ends open on both sides and a light behind it. If you're looking straight into the wall, you can see through no problem. You only see the very edges of the box. As you start to look at it off, off axis, you're seeing more and more and more sides of the box. Basically, you're, you're closing the shutter because you're looking at it at the wrong angle. And no matter what you're going to do, um, it's gonna, you're going to get like wonky lineups on your, your color goes off, the brightness goes off, and that's why you have that problem with off-axis viewing on LCD, LED style screens. Now, LEDs were an improvement because you could locally dim parts of your screen, which basically meant turn off some of the LEDs over here and off some of the LEDs over there because they're supposed to be in the dark area of the screen and that would prevent some of the light bleeding through. But because it's basically a bunch of lights in a big open space on the back of your screen, you could only do that to a point because the adjacent light would still be lighting that section to some degree, right? Um, local dimming was a clever solution and it got us this far, but the fact that we couldn't go to true black at any point was really a stumbling factor and the new LED technology does a much better job of that. And you basically can't tell the difference between looking at a full 4K OLED picture and just looking out your window. Um, it, it, it's a perfect level of sharpness. So as far as what you'd want to purchase, I would say I would, I'd be saving my pennies up for the OLED technology. Now LED is a great technology as well, 
but it just doesn't hold a candle to this new tech. And if you're looking long term, you're going to want to have that screen because that is basically your future proofing right there. So if you can manage the dollars, 4K OLED is definitely my recommendation.